Hey guys, I'm Andre. I'm Hilton. I'm Tristan. And right now we're gonna be watching the uh, death battle that came oh, out. Yes. It came out a while ago, but we didn't get time to do it. Because we're very busy people. <laughs> <laughs> or just because we've been doing Ruby a lot. Yeah, yeah. And we, a lot of that. we always want to get that out first. And uh, so we always fall behind these death battles. But oh, we're here we are now. Yep. And uh, it's Raven versus Twilight Sorry. Sparkle. Yo, Twilight Sparkle? But My Little Pony. I mean, I've never seen My Little Pony. I know, but I do. I, I don't no, know I'm, why, but I do know quite a bit about it. I got a little niece. She watches it, so mm. friendship is magic. <laughs> yeah, and I get the only comparison I can really put is besides one other one is that they both use magic. I guess. Yep. I I did watch the reasoning of why they had these two because apparently a lot of them was Scarlet Witch and Jean Grey were the two other ones were the two other uh, co uh, combatants for this. Mm -hmm. But the problem with that, with what they said in Death Battle, is that apparently Jean Grey and uh, Scarlet. Scarlet Witch would destroy Raven, just because they do have, they do might have kind of similar powers, but they're insane beings compared to Raven. Well, th apparently Twilight Sparkle is actually very similar to Raven, apparently. Because he has magic. Like yes. insane, to an insane degree. And then there's the other comparison that they both voiced by Tara Strong at one point. Oh yeah, they said those, I'm pretty sure they said there was supposed to be something special about the end of this yeah. episode, which I, I'm hoping that it's Tara Strong is voicing yeah. both yeah. of them. Oh, that would be sick. Because I love Tara Strong. So she's like, really community-wise, so it'd be super cool. Yeah, it'd be super cool. But alright, I guess let's, oh, before we choose who we're going to, which both of us, a lot of us already know who we want yeah. to choose anyway, well, let's just okay. watch the... Right, we're not, we're not gonna watch, look, let's say some of now, we can say who we think for right now, and after we'll discuss more, after we oh, see the video. Yeah. But to me, it's, I think Raven, because she's like my favorite literature, or fictional character for like the longest time. Oh, you want Raven. Raven. Okay, <laughs> since they're both we Raven, I gotta Raven. go! <laughs> Yeah, well, love Team okay, Titans. Let's, so watch, Brody for <laughs> let's just watch the explanations and right, probably not change my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> With Raven, the half demon sorceress from the Teen Titans, and Twilight Sparkle, no, from magical magic. prodigy from My Little Pony. <laughs> yep, really doing this again. He's wearing <laughs> another my pony. Stick. And hey. it's our job to analyze their weapons, Why? armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. A strong emotion can drastically change a person. Fear can trigger instincts necessary so for survival. Yeah. Anger can increase yeah. adrenaline for incredible like That movie strength. was weird, okay? Yeah, that was creepy. Like a wicked cloak. The, the, one with the, new, the one with Terry. This the, is Raven. I forget what it was called. From the day Raven the was born project. in her yeah, home dimension of Azeroth, she wasn't the most popular girl around. Yeah, it's not exactly a good sign when right as you're born, the sky turns black and the whole world suddenly smells like farts. See, Raven is the daughter of a human mother and a fearsome demon. Who is literally made up of hatred. Not even kidding. Because of her heritage, Raven's own mental state holds the key to a fearsome inner power. She is an empath, a mage who can sense, create, and manipulate emotions. So her powers are all about feelings and stuff? That's pretty lame. Tell that to her when she scrambles your brain, or forces you to feel so greedy you steal from your boss. No, <laughs> you don't need to convince me to do that. Wait, what? Uh, I mean, <laughs> oh, that's pretty intense. But hey, she's got a lot more deadliness packed away under that cool cloak. When she go. was 18 years old, Raven met her father for the first time, and it, uh, didn't go very well. Yeah, Demon Dad shot her mom with a grandma laser. That pissed off Raven so much, she finally let loose. This shadowy figure is her soul self, an extension of her spirit and manifestation of the powers inherited from Triga. Raven often wields it as her primary means of offense and defense, though it can function on its own. I wish I had a pet bird that could do what the soul self can. This beauty lets Raven fly, use its eyes and ears, or just punch people like a big old battering bird. It can drain the energy and powers of others and also serves as a sort of pocket dimension, which Raven can trap a limited number of foes and objects within. Talk about convenient, but she can do way more. She can she levitate, teleport, yeah. heal others, cast yeah. energy oh, shields, phase through walls, the and blast Titan. people with mystical energy Titan. beams. <laughs> do oh, my no. But there is one drawback. To wield her power, Raven must embrace emotion, 
and too much emotion risks opening her mind to Trigun's corruption. When she gives in to her darker oh, yeah. side, her entire personality changes. I remember that episode. What's the matter? Afraid of the dark? I surrender! You Under a new persona yeah. appropriately named yeah, Dark yeah. Raven. Dark Raven is stronger, tougher, and freakier than your everyday Raven. She can shoot lasers from her eyes, disintegrate stuff with her hand beams, and shapeshift. And her soul self is so powerful, it can wipe most people off the face of the earth in an instant. However, Dark Raven's incredible capabilities are a double-edged sword. By tapping into her father's demonic powers, she risks transporting Trigon himself to the living realm, kickstarting devastation across the universe. Kickstarting? I wonder what the tier rewards are like for that. Pledge 20 bucks and get an autograph from Satan. <laughs> Thankfully, she has been able to free herself from Trigon's control, granting her unlimited access to her own magical abilities. Sometimes she even wears white to celebrate the occasion. Or is that just for her wedding with Beast Boy? Oh wait, that never happened. These comic books reboot way too often for any relationships to actually have lasting consequences. Really? Silly me. Yeah. Last but not least, it there's Raven's though. Golden Form. It's a spiritual so body free from Trigon's influence, which manifested after she turned evil and had to be killed by her friends, the Teen Titans. Oh, that's messed up. It happens a lot, actually. Anyway, Raven's accomplished plenty of incredible feats. She's bent steel girders with her magic. Yeah, Toughed out getting thrown butt first into a brick wall so hard it broke. Uh, the wall, not, not her butt. And even <laughs> helped Terra, a fellow Titan, raise the Team Titan's in. headquarters and the oh island it's on. Terra alone was barely able to stop the island's descent, and together they pushed it back up to its rightful place. This means Raven lifted more than half of the island's weight. The Titan's Tower Island is similar in location and size to Alcatraz, which has a width of 559 yards. Assuming the most likely granite composition and accounting for a 30% hollow interior, Raven's energy output would need to be about 14 million megawatt hours. That's enough energy to power all of New York City for over three years. Raven's soul self can survive 30,000 feet below the surface of the ocean with no problem. That's almost 14,700 pounds per square inch, 42 times the PSI needed to crack most bones. And it's tough enough to survive laser blasts from aliens that hurt Donna Troy, who can survive moon busting attacks. The villain Sparta's lasers could disintegrate people in an instant, which requires nearly 3 billion joules of energy and Raven's soul self powered through several of these blasts and held together. The soul self is also stupidly fast. It once flew from New York City to Blue Valley, Nebraska, and back in less than five what? minutes. The distance between those cities is 1,166 miles as the crow, Raven, Raven, flies. To make this Why trip in time, that? Raven's right. soul self must have flown more than 36 times the speed of sound. Not impressed? Well, when she was golden, Ghosty Raven, she flew between the Earth and Moon like it was nothing. So, plenty of impressive feats, but unfortunately, Raven's powers have daunting and often costly limits. When the Soul Self takes damage, Raven feels the pain herself. She's kinda like a glass cannon, and overtaxes her own abilities pretty frequently. But don't disregard this as only mere physical ineptitude. When Raven utilizes emotions in combat, she tackles that emotion head on. The more negative the emotion, the more pain she feels. And don't forget, she's also struggling not to feel so Satan doesn't show up. With all that going on at once, it's no wonder she passes out sometimes. But with the help of her friends and her adoptive Azerathian family, Raven eventually overcame Trigon's iron grip and defeated him. Yeah, you'd think a guy like Trigon would think twice before messing with someone as powerful as Raven. Oh yeah, that reminds me that I can't wait for the Teen Titan live action, action show yeah. coming out. Though. Let me yeah. show you one. Azeroth, Metreon, Zinthos! Spell? Azeroth, Metreon, Zinthos. There we go, Friendship's Magic! Cody the no. city of Canterlot rests among the mountains. It's not cringy at all. There, I think, I'm not prejudiced against My Little Pony. Like, if it was actually so good, if it was actually good, I would watch it. Twilight Sparkle. Trust I've me, never yeah. just seen Trust it. me, my niece is favorite. Uh, you mean, four. we've seen a pony that breaks the sound yeah, barrier episode. and one that breaks physics. So, what crazy powerful thing can this one do, Wiz? Hold your horses, Boomstick. We're merely out of the gate. 
Oh, Barely. Bring it in, Wiz. Your lame puns are musting with my script. Little Twilight wanted to learn magic at Princess Celestia's school for gifted oh. unicorns. After a very a uh, eventful entrance exam, she didn't just get accepted into the school, she became Celestia's protege. Which is kind of a big deal, since Celestia is pretty much pony god of the sun. Not only that, Twilight also earned her cutie mark. Oh, oh I remember those. <laughs> it's that magical tramp stamp a pony gets when they grow up. But uh, Close enough. Twilight's cutie mark symbolized her life's calling. Specifically, her destiny in mastering the art of magic. This peppy purple pony wasted no time and hit the books to practice hard. By the time she was an adult, she'd read her entire collection of 20,000 books. Ooh. What a nerd. Mm. Boomstick, have you ever read a book before? Do gun manuals count? Sure, why not? Oh, there we go! Twilight learned all sorts of powerful and useful magic. More disguise. She knows so many spells, it would take well over an hour to describe them all. Her memory is so crystal clear, she can recall a complex spell after a mere glance. But here's some highlights. She can move stuff with her mind, shoot concussive energy blasts, raise magic shields, and rapid fire teleport. She can manipulate gravity, ignite things on fire, freeze others in place, walk on clouds, and even master the transfiguration spell. As a filly, she turned her own parents into plants. Talk about weird. She's even transformed a single apple into a nest of bird eggs. Which, uh, hatched somehow. She has great life! Fresh. Yeah. But Twilight's magic doesn't just stem from her vast knowledge of spells and history. In the world of My Little Pony, magic is drawn from and controlled by a unicorn's emotions. Oh, here comes the touchy-feely stuff. <laughs> the stronger a unicorn feels about something or someone, the stronger their magic becomes. Well, I've always found magic is tied to my emotions. Whatever I'm feeling fuels whatever I'm doing, and the stronger I'm feeling, the stronger the magic. Across Equestria, Twilight Sparkle is one of the few ponies to master the most powerful magic of all. The magic of friendship. Oh, okay, well, God. I know a metaphor when I see it. Isn't a night out with the girls so magical? Oh, no, 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 that's not it at all. In truth, friendship is the only weapon powerful enough to defeat Equestria's most dangerous enemies. What? They weaponized friendship? Awesome! Hey Wiz, you're you're my best buddy. I you're friends forever. Come here, give me a hug. Equestria girl. Yep. Well there's you. Where are the friendship lasers? Get off me. <laughs> uh, yeah, outside. I didn't I slipped! Um Twilight's <laughs> friendship magic is at its most powerful when focused through the elements of harmony. But when she used together, get, she can't get other people in this are battle. Yeah. Sucks. Force, She's overpowered. Even capable of overpowering the villain Tyrek after he stole Twilight's powers, along with the rest of Equestria's. Twilight's crown with her personal element contains a powerful magic in its own right, enough to literally change the fabric of reality in another dimension with its mere presence. And of course, we gotta talk about those wings of hers. She was born a unicorn, but after completing an ancient spell about, what else, friendship, she transformed into an alicorn. A mix between a unicorn and a pegasus, and a chance to sell just a whole ton more merchandise. <laughs> it's a good thing <laughs> too, alicorn that. magic is leagues more so powerful than a plain unicorn's, and Twilight needed the extra boost to defend Equestria as its newest princess. Like when she fought that Tyrek guy. After Tyrek absorbed the magic from Equestria's entire population, Twilight was forced to confront him herself while wielding the power of four alicorns. This is sounding like with baby girl horse toys. <laughs> anyway, check out how Tara rocketed Twilight straight into this mountain, and she was totally fine thanks to her magic shield. By comparing Twilight's apparent size just before impact to her actual size of approximately four feet tall, we can estimate the distance she was thrown to be about 145 feet. Tyrek then closed this distance at 64.5 miles per hour. Combined with his yes, estimated yeah. weight of over 31,000 pounds, Twilight's shield had to stand. Honestly, did it break the whole mountain? Force. You know what? Forget it. I'm this is sounding like a lot of sheep getting help from other people, though. Twilight yeah. is tough enough to survive Raven bombardment by power, anvils right? and pianos, fast yeah. enough to fly over 300 miles per hour without using any spells, and even strong enough to lift and carry a rock weighing four and a half tons. Her telekinesis is strong enough to lift a 340-ton bear and even uproot this giant flower tree thing. <laughs> and with the other alicorn's magic, well, she can move the sun and the moon. 
Okay, yeah, friendship power's way better than expected. However, if Twilight has one glaring weakness, it's her unwavering neurosis. Yes, that's oh, you mean how she's obsessed over staying organized and if one small thing goes wrong, she totally loses it? Yes. She has a, well, difficult time dealing with unexpected stress. More often than not, she even makes bad situations worse before starting to fix them. But hey, when push comes to shove, Jeez, Twilight man. Sparkle pulls her weight and more. You have no magic! You're wrong, T-Rex. But she got her power from others. What's wrong with her hair? I carry within me the most powerful magic of all. Friendship. And that's a friendship. Yes. Oh. <laughs> See, he's, he's, he's like right, so cringe. So Let's end this it's debate once and yeah, for all. I can't handle it. But first, I have to keep watching. He me. died because of the cringe. <laughs> How am I supposed to talk about it? Okay, yeah, guys. Okay, let's do it now then. Yeah. What do you guys think? Since you guys are both Raven, I'll just go with I'm Chloe. still gonna go Raven. No, I, yeah, I'm still going Raven. There's literally nothing changed in my life. Twilight, because I. The most thing, uh, especially with the weight thing, the only thing I could think of is the, that she would. that they could put as that she beats him is because of the. She can move the sun and moon with magic. Yeah, but to me, I think that's with magic, not her telekinesis powers. And then it's just the thing that it kept being, oh, with power of friendship. It was like, why? What, she's gonna get help from people then? Yeah, that's a huge thing too. Yeah, it looks she like might... it's team base versus just Raven. Yeah. Yeah, if she does, it's a whole thing of, uh, if it doesn't involve the friends. And it's the thing of like, where a lot of times she has to, with the fact that. Uh, if she gets friendship powers built on where Raven has to su actually suppress another person while doing stuff, it kind of is like, oh, what? That's, that's not fair. Yeah. So, let's, I guess let's just go and see what happens. But so Twilight, Raven, and then Raven. Oh, oh yeah, there's also a thing we want. I just remembered that me and Andre wanted to do. It was, it, this one is probably not going to involve this one, but we or actually might. We we're planning on a. We're gonna have as much as uh, up to a season, I guess, of death battles. Oh, and yeah. uh, whoever we would tally the points of every single death battle that we do, and eventually, uh, when we reach a certain number, or whoever wins, what's gonna happen? That the person that loses with the least amount of points gets which, kicked out of the channel. Yeah. No. No. no, <laughs> I no they would have to dye their hair a certain color. The, and I already dyed my hair once, man. Yeah, but now you could dye your hair maybe pink or orange or <laughs> no blue. blue. I mean, I'll go blue. No, we mean Andre. Not actually, no. I don't know why. But it's whoever loses. It maybe we'll get like, be, a color from the would, comments. The person, uh, the winning team people would have to choose the losing person what color. Or the com or yeah. the comments maybe even. Cause. Be cool. Or yeah, or the comments could choose which color. Oh my gosh! Do not choose pink <laughs> or anything. But uh, blue. It'd be cool. It's like blue or obviously that that's something you could do later. Or brown, brown. We already have some death battles, so we can probably tally up yeah. some points. There's so. a, there's some points already tallied up. So it, well, obviously we're going to decide. Eventually, we'll see. We're not the end goal isn't there yet. We don't know yet. Yeah. What the end goal? It's pretty is. much just to put more stakes on this, so we actually listen yeah. and like choose actually yeah. which one we want. Yeah. So we'll do. We'll probably do that. But we don't have an end goal. We'll probably figure that out at some other point. The yeah. one we're doing this, but just a thing that we could, we're probably going to be doing just yeah. for that. Okay, let's go. Right. Okay, fine. so. Hmm. Transdimensional teleportation? Let's give it a try. Oh, you messed up. No. It's a Teen Titans Go thing. saw nothing. You just bought a toy. I don't know. They're not voice by Let's go, Raven. Let's go, Raven. Actually, I think a My Little Pony hasn't died yet. The first one won, the second one was inconclusive for the most time. Break the streak, Raven, let's go. Kill the pony. Oh no, we can get help. We 
I cannot really tell what's happening too much at a certain time. I want it. I need it. Not the green. Mine. Oh my. Aha! Now I've got you right where I want you. Oh my gosh! Is it gonna get this? Oh my god! I guess he's gonna break it or something. Sorry to soil your fun. Don't do it. No! Go no right! Go right! This the soul. Hey! Right. Well, that was odd. No! No! Yes! Oh, I lost! Celestia. Today I hey, learned that the only thing whatever. more powerful than friendship. It's a giant bird spirit colliding into me at Mark 36! <laughs> this was a tricky oh, one. Goodness. Both Raven and Twilight possessed That's numerous brutal. spells and techniques oh. that could end the other quickly and easily. Since they were pretty even in how many ways they could finish each other off, this fight really came down to strength, durability, and performance. First of all, it's pretty obvious Raven's telekinesis has been shown to be much stronger than Twilight's. But Wiz, what about when Twilight moved the sun and moon? Yeah, that That's when she had the magic of Princess Celestia and Luna. And it's hey. well established that only their specific type of magic can move those celestial bodies. So, you're saying you want us to move the sun and the moon? Well, I do it myself, except I don't have your magic. With her own magic, Twilight has never shown anything close to the kind of force Raven used to lift the Teen Titans' tower. Yeah, that's what I was Raven saying. Raven had the durability advantage, too. Remember how Twilight's shield held up against oh a hit a little over 8 million Newtons? Well, Raven's soul self is tougher than Donna Troy, who can shrug off a blast worth 296 Talion Newtons. What? That's a 16 more zeros, in case you're wondering. And don't forget, well, Twilight had the it? power of four yeah. alicorns at that time. The shield wouldn't have it saved her from Raven's soul self anyway. Not only could it absorb Twilight's powers and emotions, and not only was it capable of operating while Raven was unconscious, but it also made a mean dive bomber. Raven's soul self could fly at speeds exceeding Mach 36. Since it's often been used as a battering ram to hit enemies, we know it has mass, but not exactly how much. However, given its size, strength, and durability far exceeds Raven's own, its mass is likely greater than hers. Let's just lowball it and say they're equal, all right? Sure. Adding Raven's mass to the Mach 36 calculation, the Soul Self's ramming force at top speed comes to 15 million newtons of force, far greater than what Twilight's shield has sustained. Ain't no pony walking away from that. Plus, Twilight's positive attitude meant Raven didn't have to even worry about pain when using her emotions against her. While they may have matched each other in spells and skill, Raven's more powerful traits and exceptional Soul Self earned her a hard-fought victory. Yep, Raven really ponied up for this one. The winner is Raven. Raven? Hey. Thanks for watching, Whatever. guys. If you want to see commentary on this episode, just click that little box over there and start a first membership trial. And if you want the battle music for yourself, you can click the link in the description below and get it off. I, I already know who the next one is, but it's been a while since it's been out. Yeah, the next one, obviously. Jotaro! And Ken. The Jojo brother. Not brother. I don't like that brother. <laughs> It's Ororororo versus, uh, what is it? Yata. <laughs> 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 uh, That's Kenshiro. Kenshiro is. They have it. They have them flipped. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's because they have them. Obviously, they should, but. Yeah, so it's Ororororo versus. That one is out already. But yeah, like I said, like I guess, what she was doing with her magic. With lifting and all that, I felt Raven was better. Because I said the only worrying is about the sun, but I'm pretty sure she wasn't doing that with her own magic, which I was right. Apparently. Hmm. Pretty good at yeah. seeing that kind of stuff. Okay. So that was really great. So, yeah, so she, because she wasn't moving that. Because if she moved that, then it's like she could just throw Raven and kill her easily. Like, yeah. Because <laughs> like, moving that moving the sun and moon would be like crazy yeah, so it's pretty much just like how he said that it would it would have been really 
unfair for her to just use other people's magic also. Yeah, like it wasn't... It, they didn't give her other people's magic because a lot of her biggest feats were using other people's magic. Yeah, and the friends around her and stuff. So, it's, but Raven, did, Raven didn't need any of that. Her Raven problem has... was more suppressing her own. Mm -hmm. So she has more power to give. But yeah, but next think. is Jotaro vs. Kenshiro. Jotaro from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, mm -hmm. the Ken fourth in the Jotaro line. And Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star. Oh wait, no, the third. The third from the Jotaro line. Or the Jojo line. I don't know why I said Jotaro mm -hmm. line. From the Jojo line, the third mm -hmm. of it. And Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star. Who, with the big meme everyone already knows. Omaru. 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 Shinderu. Everyone already knows that meme, most likely. <laughs> but yeah. But alright. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to leave a like. Oh, uh, yeah. Subscribe to catch our video of this Click going the on. Bell. And uh, comment down below on any comment on any uh, series of videos you want us to see later. So I said, see ya. Don't want to be it. <laughs> <laughs>